Hello there, meet Sock here, I run Exposure Gaming. This is a new series called What Happened Last Week, similar to my last video. I hope to do more videos like this. Hope you enjoy. Let me hand over to meet Sock. Hello sunshine. In this new series we're going to be looking back over the past week or so and seeing what's happened. It's not going to be a weekly series as, to be honest, don't have the effort. However, I'll be doing this from time to time when I see fit. Firstly, let's talk about Millwall versus Everton. Millwall pulled off a shock 3-2 win at the Den. However, that's not what we're going to be talking about. Have a look at this. No way. No, this is too much. Millwall. The Met Police have confirmed one man has been slashed in the face during a scrap ahead of the FA Cup tie. To be honest, they should probably let them fight. You know, football hooligans are going to be football hooligans at the end of the day. If they want to fight, sod it. Go on, lads. Have a go. On to the next story. Oh. Now, as you can see, this is just straight up lazy. Probably shouldn't be throwing packages like he's launching C4s in Rainbow Six, to be honest. It's fair to say this is probably a common occurrence wherever you live. However, it's been caught on camera. There's like sort of a massive uproar about it. It's a bit wrong, you know. That could be an iPad he's launched 40 foot. I feel sorry for the bloke that's uh, just received his package. On to the next story. Usain Bolt has retired from professional football. I know. Illustrious. What? Six month career he had. Two games he played. Two trial games, may I add. There's no doubt he'll go down in one of the greatest footballers of all time. You know, Pele, Maradona. Why can I not think of any more footballers? Maldini, Ronaldo, Messi. Obviously, Wayne Shaw's up there. But Usain Bolt definitely ranks sort of with them, you know. Two goals, two games. Didn't even play 90 minutes in any of the games. It's just clinical, really. He had a 100% win ratio. How many players can say that? Same numbers as sisters Jorginho. Chelsea centre-half. Centre-half, he's a centre-mid. Cost him 51 mil. I mean, incredible. And uh, obviously, I'm joking. It was basically a publicity stunt. And uh, it just sums up Usain Bolt, really. He's a bit of a, bit of a bloke, isn't he? A bit of a weird one. And this is the interactive part of the video. Put your hand up if you heard of the Central Coast Mariners before Usain Bolt. Nope, no one. Didn't think so. Now, obviously, the main focal point this week was Emiliano Salah and his missing play. Obviously, it's very tragic, but um, the search has been called off already, which is quite controversial. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and act like I am an expert and I can sort of go against the decision. It's called off. It's called off for a reason. They obviously have no links. If they do, they might be just rumours. No one really knows. However, there's obviously the argument that Madeleine McCann is still being searched for after 11 years, which is outrageous, You could some say, some say it's not. You know? But it's different ways of dealing with things, obviously a person and a whole like vessel that flies through the air and is crashed in the middle of the sea, whereas she was taken from a hotel room, which gives them a certain search parameter to look in. But they are, they have, several footballers have offered a bit of money to continue the search, but I don't think that will go through. If they do find him, obviously, it's more likely than not that he will be dead, unfortunately, along with the pilot and the other passengers on the plane. Obviously, overall, this is very saddening to the football and just the world in general. And I obviously, I hope they continue. I hope they find him, but I haven't got my hopes up for it. So, we've had Millwall fans fighting Everton fans. C4 throwing parcel deliveries. Obviously, a tragic plane, cra plane crash. I can't speak. Usain Bolt's retired, had an illustrious career. And to end off, you know, sort of the main story of the week. Here we have creative migrants, immigrants, should I say, sneaking into Spain in a mattress. You know, it's up there. Einstein, Shakespeare, they're all geniuses in their certain sort of area. But these two blokes, they, they shine above the rest, really. You know, who would have thought? I mean, fair play to the Spanish blokes that cut open a mattress to find two Africans inside. I mean... They deserve like a medal or something, maybe for that, because I wouldn't have noticed. I'd have said, go on then, off you go, through the border. But yeah, I don't know why I picked that. I thought it was just quite funny, really. And um, it's got nothing to do with my life. So, but yeah, it's just very funny. That's all we've got time for this uh, this week. Don't expect this to be every week, because it won't, unfortunately. But we've had some sad stories, obviously the crime crash. We've had some quite funny stories and Usain Bolt and the migrants and the delivery. Some controversial ones like the uh, Millwall story. Obviously, anything you would like me to do, leave in the comments section. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.
If you can count how many Wayne Shaw's pop up on during this video, I will send you in a mattress to Spain. Love you guys.